everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ, Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on the video once again. It's the end of the Power Gem, Power Stone season. And uh, out of 5,000 players, I'm currently in rank 161 in the PvP uh, Shield Simulator and the Season of Versus events ends tonight when 3-star Gamora is over. I'm holding on to a top 5 position in there in clearance level 9. Should be good to finish that way since it ends in a couple hours. But this is it. Like I did last time, I said I wasn't going to wait till the last minute. Well, here we go. I need to get just about 600 points in the next two hours. I know we can do it. Let's get into it together, and uh, I'm going to do a pretty much a no commentary stream this time, so I can just play and get through it, and, and once again, it's late at night, so I want to keep it down a little. Let's get into the action, and you know what? Let's start with tokens first, and then we'll rush all of the fights. We've got a number of tokens to pull, mostly in um, standards and heroics like usual, so let's run out maybe most of these 38 here. I think we're due for a three star. If we do get to that real soon, we'll stop there on the standards and move on. Let me see who my bonus hero should be. We need one more bonus before I have to change it. I won't spoil who it is. I think you might know if you've watched our last couple of videos. Don't forget, if you qualify for a three-star bonus in the standards tokens area, you definitely always get a bonus since it's one for one on the three stars in standard tokens only. Not a bad deal, except for we're getting so many one stars and not even two stars very much. There we go. That's a three-star and we are going to qualify for a bonus. Thor gets us Electra. Awesome. Okay, that's going to be good for a legendary token. So what I need to do is change my bonus hero. Maybe I'll move it to probably Daredevil in this case. Great. All right. We have, uh, let's do this one elite here. Got the hood. And of course, I didn't change my bonus, and I should have, and there it is on Electra. Hilarious. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh, I said I was going to change it, and then I didn't, and look what will happen. It's not a big deal to get an extra cover, but I'd rather, since uh, Daredevil needs three, that's one cover closer to getting him up to 257. They got me. All right, six heroics. We'll come back and do that at the end here. Let's go over to... Lethal Intent, that's the Gamora event. We got the first three tokens. Gold. Iron Fist. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Already from a store token in three tries, we got a four-star from this vault. That is going to be awesome. Count it down in three, two, one. And it's Max Punisher, fantastic, with a four-star bonus, and it's Valkyrie. I should have changed my four-star bonus hero as well. Wow. That's insane. I'll take it. Let's get over there uh, before we get into the rest of these tokens. How could I have left my four-star bonus hero set on Valkyrie? That's not going to hurt anything, of course, but I did have different plans. There she is. I'll take that off. Let's go and put it on to... Gamora and Jubilee are both only needing two covers to get a five-star character reward. I think we're going to go ahead and put it on Gamora. She's quite a ways up here. Yep, two levels for a level 320. She'll reward a Thanos cover. And yeah, he's fine. All right. Let's keep going, running hot. 
by the way. The balance of power is back as the off-season kind of special events. That's going to be a lot of fun. Some of you may have started that already, and it's uh, everybody's raised to maximum level 550. Let me know how you like it. It can be a really fun event for a lot of different sized rosters. Okay, four tokens for the Hulk. Three-star cage. Nice hit there. And Scarlet Witch. All right. That cage level is going to be a legendary token for his progressing as well. Oops, don't do that. We already did the 100 hero point pull for that vault. We've got a number of taco tokens. We're trying to get some of the newer characters like Star-Lord, Gambit, Angel, Hawkeye. Let's go. And we're getting close. Today is Sunday, the day of the video here, but on Thursday we should get release confirmation of the new five-star character in the game and hopefully we'll get a new five-star character vault 250 hero points is good and in that vault it might include the three-star gambit that's exactly what we're going for the newer three stars there's a rumor that the, the store might include x-men five-star characters so if, if that's the case, I hope it's either Old Man Logan or Phoenix, but they've both been in a special store with a 5-star previously, so maybe it won't be them. It could be 5-star Gambit, it could be another set of health packs. Come on, we need 3-star characters. So I'm not sure what the store is going to contain, but... If we need the side characters, I'll run a whole bunch of command points on the 5-star release store vault. If we don't need them, I'll wait until that new 5-star enters the latest legendary tokens. Not doing too hot on the tacos now. There it is, 3-star Electra again. And we'll do these other three tokens. And then we'll make a mad rush in the season simulator to try to get about 600 points in one sitting. Not recommended on the last day, but I, th I think we're going to be all right. Tacos, and we're done, I think, with the vaults for the evening. Yeah, we're up to 38 Latest Legends, so we might be at 40 by the time we add in these character levels. Six Heroic Tokens, we ran really good in the Heroics in the last video, so these might be all two stars, but maybe we'll get a couple of gold level rewards. There's one. Oh, it's not a three star, it's a four star. Awesome. Viewer luck. Still running hot. Three, two, one. And it's Gamora, can you believe it, if we just chose her as our bonus hero? We only need one more now to earn a 5-star Thanos from her level rewards. Another 4-star, guys. Out of 6 pulls, we have 2 in a, almost in a row. Ready? Go. Jean Grey, very good. Wow, running super hot. And we'll do, uh, we already did the daily purchase after midnight last time, so there we go. Done with that good token haul. Let's add those characters in. And, all right, we'll take another point added to our overall score. Thank you, sir. For the wipeout. <laughs> okay, one stars, might as well sell them out. 30 of those is three grand in ISO. And we are going to champion a five-star character. I just decided we're going to do it probably on my next video or two. The next video or the next video after that, we're going to champ a five-star. So see if you can guess who it's going to be. Some of you might know. 
have anything we need to do in the two stars? Probably not. We have a few days to work on Black Widow and Hawkeye. We'll wait. Here we go. All right, let's add in this electric cover. And she hits the legendary token at 257. Nice. 259. She only needs seven more levels to be maxed out. Finally, for the first time. Some of you guys have already done that. We can train Gambit for our duplicate. It goes a level 5 in red, but we need purple for our duplicate build of Gambit. We already have a maximum champion. Scarlet Witch hits level 223 for a cover of 4 star Quake. Very nice. Luke Cage, guess what? Another legendary token at 239. Iron Fist goes up. Hey, we got a yellow hood. I didn't even think about making a comment about that. That's one of the more rare covers I can't seem to get a lot of. We'll train that up and he finally goes to level 2 in yellow after banking four colors in a non-yellow of either blue or black. He only needs one more cover now. Great. On our duplicate build. Thor hits 224. A couple of Captain Marvels. Really good rewards here. 260. Six more levels to be maximum. 15 command points on the next reward. Three star Gamora. 198. At uh, four more levels here, she's going to earn us a four star Gamora, right? Or did we. Or does she still earn us Star-Lord? Let's see. Yeah, she still earns Star-Lord on her champion progression. Strange. They need to fix that and make it be 4-star Gamora. Okay, so the 3 stars are done, and we have to handle Kamala by tomorrow. Or maybe we better do it tonight. Alright, moving on. 4 stars. Just got the Quake. 306, 4 command points, 17-5. Great. Right. Jean Grey. Nice hit in the Heroics, 297. There's our four-star Gamora, getting up to level 319. And now you can see Thanos, the Man Titan, green cover next. Can't wait. Great. Valkyrie moves up a spot, level 301, 3000 ISO. And Max Punisher, 301. Almost 18,000 health. Aiden Coulson, 312. Okay, don't have any fives, right? We're done with our character leveling for now. And I just wanted to show you real quick. We're on MPQ day number 1036. And in a couple days we get a legendary token, but also another Max Punisher. Pretty good run of rewards there. Let's get into the battles. In the Season Simulator, we're at 1,410 points. We have just over two hours to get up to 2,000 points. Well, let's do it. 60 points here against an Okoye team. Let's take them on. They've got Black Bolt on their team. Gambit still plays really well against the Black Bolt. Um, so he is a red-purple and a passive black. So what else should we bring in here? Probably yellow, blue, green, and maybe an active black. So let's think this through. Let's go with an active black and uh, yellow, blue, green. We don't really have a yellow, blue, green. No, let's go here. Another AP denial character, blue, green, black. And so we only need an active yellow. This might work. Black Bolt himself has an active yellow, but that's going to put too many charge tiles on the board. Of course, Okoye is good for yellow, but I kind of want to save her for a little bit. Let's have... Um, Daredevil doesn't have an active yellow, but now nah, let's go with Wasp. Okay, should be fun. So we're going to need to target Black Bolt first so that we can make him stop making charge tiles and the pain that that delivers. 
Uh, let's see, we've got white that drops green. All right, now we want to match charge tiles as fast as we can until we get a lot of red built up. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so we're already going to get hit by one of Black Bolt's energy channeling. And I remember at the beginning I said this was going to be a low commentary video. Maybe I'll try to start doing that now. I'm very challenged by not commentating. Let's do this. Maybe I'll get that double charged red after this. Oof, they took it. That's rough. Hmm, what do we do? Just can't seem to get any matches with the charged tiles. Hmm, Thor's got 13 green, unbelievable. Waste to team up. Gonna take some pretty good damage here. can make Gambit invisible. I think we're going to need to do that to keep him healthy. Let's go. We need a blue match. And we can stun Thor if needed. And Archangel's down. Wow. Okay. At least we got Thor down. We'll end up winning this match, but that was much more difficult than I wanted it to be. Keep red and yellow away from Okoye, and she can't do a lot by herself without a team present. Stole blue, stole black. Ten red, okay.
really rough win, but almost 60 points there, so we're getting close to 1,500. We need about a little over 500 total more points. 48. Looking for near 60-point nodes if we can. Find a couple of them. 50 is pretty good. Tough team, though. Thirty-eight. So we might have to find fight a number of near forty-point nodes once you get toward this level. That's a tough team. Let's play the dream team here. Can't get that green at the bottom or Thor will be severely injured afterward, probably. Eight green. Oh, they just keep getting really pretty lucky. Let's try to see if we can get a knockout blow on Thor built up here somehow. We'll uh, hit him once, twice. Absolute overkill, but at least we got him out before he could hit us with his green ability. Didn't take too much damage. That match went much better than the previous one. Only Thor moves available, right?
Here we go. This is a good team we should be able to take on. We're taking advantage of the situation where Medusa gets a bunch of Okoye damage added on to her attack tile, but we'll be able to take her out really quickly with Thor here and Daredevil making strike tiles. Long as we can keep them from getting a lot of team up. And I was going to choose somebody other than Thor in this match because I forgot he's the one that makes the team up matches, so we'll have to be really careful. is down already. Oh, there's a match four in green. I just can't have Thor out front anymore. Oof, 11 green on that team. Wow.
We've got Black Bolt's AoE ready to fire off. This is a really good ability. Maybe we should get one blue match here first, quick. Nope, gotta do it now. Thor's under 50% health. Awesome. Too bad it uses up all of your AP, but nice to get it back down to one remaining enemy. And if we get 10 red, this should be over.
Try to mix the teams up a little bit for fun. I think we'll get rid of that team up. 1790, 210 points remaining. Here's a fun team. Let's see, who have we not used yet? Almost everybody. Thanos. Natasha will spec her red up. Purple down. Need a yellow blue to complement these two. That's kind of the trick. I only have Wasp as a yellow blue user. make this extra move match we're gonna lose our come and get me tile wow hmm that's rough Thank you. Maybe we'll get it to go.
73.
102 more points. Haven't taken a hit yet so far. I think we're going to go to pretty much our... Well, we'll play one more with a fun team. Then we'll switch to more of the dream team. Be out on defense. If we can find anything more than 30, there's 34. 45. There we go. Let's see if we can get this fun team to win. And we'll switch. As I've uh, stated before, sometimes I purposefully avoid matching tiles that have the traps on them from Jessica. In this case, I definitely need to match them away. Good team. 1948, if we can find 52 points, we'll already be done. Probably going to be two different battles, but we'll take a look. 47 is close. 40. That's a friend from my battle chat. Probably don't want to hit him. 74. Let's do it. Dream team time. <laughs> if we win this match, or when we do, it will be good for a four star. Emma Frost cover. Already got six team up. That's a really good start. Ten. I think this total match will take around two minutes. Especially if we keep getting lucky green matches on the drop. more team up. They can have as much purple as they want. Nice. Alright, let's hit Jessica with some 
notches there. There we go. 18 team up tiles with God of Thunder. How much damage is this going to be? 40,000 team damage. Incredible. All right, so we don't need to hit Jessica anymore. Let's move over here. Need to get a little bit of red. Whoa, perfect. Koye is down. There we go, she takes a hit. But that's fine, this is the end. We're going to heal her up, just about 100%. And let's have Jessica take out enemy Jessica with the body check. Good win. Very good team. At 75 points, gets us to 2,023 for the full progression without a single hit along the way. And we get the Emma Frost cover for level 2,000. Very nice. Let's go ahead and add that in since we did our, level, our character levels already. She is our newest champion. She goes to level 273 for 2,500 ISO and 14,158 health really good we did it good job guys thanks for watching so much i think we're gonna better end it there it's getting pretty late here we're over a million and thirty nine thousand iso eights we are going to champion a five star character soon stay tuned for that in the next video or the video following and we're closing in on three thousand command points again shield rank level 150 all right that's a good point to stop. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're staying on Twitch, make sure and hit up our other MPQ guys there. Enios04, Adam0519, and Killpower are in the links below. Hit them up and make sure and like and follow. If you're watching this video on YouTube, thank you very much. And um, make sure and check out Mr. MPQ and Artem on YouTube and like and follow our videos there. Have a good night, guys. See you again soon.